What's up guys? Welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel. My name's Derek and today we're going to do a tech video all about remote knobs. So basically, what is a remote knob? How do they work? And more importantly, how do they work in relationship to the settings on your amplifier? So let's dive into what is a remote knob. Now this that I'm holding is a remote gain knob for a Sundown Audio SIA amplifier. So basically what it does is allows you remote control of the gain function on your amplifier. What is inside of this, so I went ahead and took apart one of these little remote knobs. You'll see how basic they are. Just a little circuit board. You have a potentiometer, the plug, nothing on the back here, just almost a bare circuit board to allow your potentiometer and a couple lights access to your amplifier. That's it. This is how simple your remote knobs are on the inside. Now, before I dive into how they work, just to show you a couple examples, we have the remote gain knob here. This is our SIA one. This is the uh, fancy dancy salt amplifier remote knob. This one gives you voltage output, voltage readings, as well as the uh, temp sensor on your amplifier. And then we go to a whole different style, like this one here, courtesy of our friends over at Down for Sound. So this style remote knob actually plugs into your RCAs versus the other factory style remotes that have a plug that goes straight to your amp and takes control of your amplifier gain setting, this one plugs into your RCA. So same as I showed you the other remote knob pulled apart, there's basically a potentiometer inside of here. You can twist the little speaker frame to turn it up or down, but the potentiometer acts as a resistor. It takes whatever signal you're running through your, your RCAs and it just dials that signal back. So it doesn't boost or add or do anything special like that. It simply cuts that signal back or takes you back to full signal as you have it set. Now, along those same lines, that's how your factory style remote knobs work. You basically get a plug. Uh, it's gonna look like a little phone cable like this right here. Plug that in. Now here is the important part. This is the confusing part I see with a lot of people. They don't quite understand the relationship to your remote knob, and how it adjusts the settings on your amplifier. So for the most part, it doesn't touch any settings except gain. What it doesn't do is boost your gain. Now, long, long, long time ago, years and years ago, there used to be some models of amplifiers, not from Sundown, other brands, where they had not a remote gain control, but they had a remote bass boost. In those models of amplifiers, yes, the remote knob did boost the signal, specifically the, the bass signal, typically around 40 hertz, like most bass boosts are. Those aren't very good. In my opinion, do not use that style. I'm not aware of any brands or models that come with something like that nowadays. Most have a style like this. It's a remote gain knob. It gives you remote control of the gain, specifically. Now, what it doesn't do is boost. We, we already said that. So basically, wherever you set your gain to here, that's going to be your max. So when you have your gain knob here at max, it's no higher than what you have the gain set on the amplifier. So all you can do is turn your gain down. You do not have the ability to turn the gain higher than what is, it is set here, okay? Now I'm gonna say that again, be very detailed. If I have my gain set to a specific point, we're gonna say half, okay? Turning your remote gain up to max does not make that gain, it does not make the amplifier see any more gain than that halfway setting. It only takes you up to that point, all right? Now, we are gonna turn, uh, we're gonna turn this on, and I'm gonna give you a little demonstration. So before I start, I'm gonna make sure my gain is at minimum. Let me turn my amp on. We're using one of our Sundown Audio SIA 1750s in this test. We've got it hooked up to an E15 in our Down for Sound enclosure, courtesy of our friends over there at Down for Sound Shop. I'm gonna play a 40 hertz test tone. So we're going to get this started, get my track on repeat. All right, so basically, coming a little bit tighter from this angle. So you can see the sub and see what I'm doing. All right, so I want you to see here, the sub's playing, we're at low volume. I'm going to turn the gain up, not touching anything else. So you can see how it gets the sub louder. All right. Now, leaving the same setting, I'm gonna use my knob. And it gets the sub louder. Now, 
even though let me turn this down through this so I'm gonna turn my knob all the way up we're maxed out now this does not take me any higher than what my gain setting is here my gain is barely turned up so I'm gonna show you knob is maxed out we can go in here we can give it more gain and we can really crank on it but that's basically it so I want to highlight the only confusing thing I've ever really seen from people is the relationship between the remote knob and those settings on it on that amplifier now it won't mess with your your crossovers it won't mess with the bass boost if you haven't been using that it won't touch any other settings the only thing this remote knob will do is when you go up to max it takes it up to whatever the highest setting you have that gain setting set to that's it absolutely no more no boosting no overdriving nothing like that so feel free utilize the factory sundown audio remote that comes through your amp won't cause any issues but that's it hopefully that answers any kind of confusion or questions about how a remote knob works on your amplifier um, do you have any questions anything else you want to see a video done on feel free to let me know in the comments like and subscribe uh, sundownunofficial.com for merch uh, it's not this shirt I don't have my sundown shirt on but we got hoodies in stock now it's cold hoodies are in stock we got beanies in stock different style hats lots of new stuff coming all the time so check out sundownunofficial.com for that but that's it guys closing up this video see y'all later